All right, Regina, thanks for the update there. Today marks two years since that deadly plane crash in Santee. It took the life of a pilot, a UPS driver, and changed that neighborhood forever. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal was one of the first reporters on the scene that day. Joining us live from Santee, Kelly, what a difference it has made now. Absolutely. You know, a lot has changed in the past two years. If you take a look behind me, uh, the two homes that suffered the most damage uh, from this plane crash have since been rebuilt. Uh, the two families that live there have since moved back in. Uh, but people certainly remember this tragedy. In fact, someone just brought flowers for the UPS driver who was killed. Neighbors say they'll never forget images from that day. You want it to go away because it was um, it was really upsetting at the moment. It was just really loud when it crashed and um, it went directly through my neighbor's tree. Is anybody home? And here is video from the day of the plane crash here at Greencastle and Jeremy and Santee. Uh, for Debbie McCall, whom you just heard from, and some of her neighbors are always going to remember this crash. They're always going to remember these images of Phil and Maria Morris being pulled from their burning home. So this is something that really affected this neighborhood. Uh, Debbie says the crash was so powerful, the whole neighborhood shook. The roof of her neighbor's home even shifted from the vibration. Now, Phil and Maria, who were badly injured uh, in the fire, they suffered from health issues. They uh, lived with their son while while their house was rebuilt and I'm told we're only able to move back home about six months ago. So the road to recovery for them has been long and it's certainly been a long road uh, for the families who lost their loved ones. Uh, the pilot, Dr. Sugata Das, a longtime cardiologist in Yuma and Steve Kruger, the UPS driver who died that day. Uh, he lived in Ocean Beach. He is missed by so many friends and relatives. Debbie says this tragedy truly made her appreciate the little things in life. It made me stop and go, wow, look at all the things I could have lost and I need to start. For me, I refocused on the things I have in the moment. And we do have some video uh, as those flowers for Steve Kruger were placed out here. A woman wearing a UPS shirt brought them. Uh, she put them on a sign located just feet away from where he was killed. So back out here live, Debbie says everyone in this neighborhood became a little bit closer uh, because of this tragedy. She says uh, neighbors that she had never actually met before are now close friends of hers. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.